Hey everyone, I'm Yogi Zanito and welcome back to my channel. A question that I have been asked a lot is, how tall am I? What is the model of my bike? Is it lowered? And can I touch the ground? I'm 5'6", the model of my bike is a 2005 ZX6R 636. It ain't lowered and I can't touch the ground. But it's not as bad as you think. I just have to lean over a little bit and then I can flex my toes and touch the ground. All of this is made possible and I have to say and give credit to, Corbin, the Corbin seat. Now before I even jump into talking about the Corbin seat and how amazing that seat is, I gotta tell you how it was when I first got this bike. When I first got my motorcycle, the seat was shaved completely and the bike was lowered as low as it could go. And I actually created a video, I'll put a link below, and at that time I was kinda happy that it was lowered and had all that stuff done to it already because I was able to touch the ground. The seat was really, really wide, so for it to be lowered, I was pretty happy. The bad news about it, before I made this video, I really didn't go on a long ride yet. And I created this video because I was just too excited about my motorcycle and I wanted to put it out there. In the video, it's showing all the stuff that we had to do or that was done to the bike. Lowering links were already installed and lowered. We had to adjust the suspension and sag. We had to shave down the kickstand because the bike was really low. And then we also changed the levers on the motorcycle. And doing all of this, I felt pretty content and I felt like this, this will be it. This will be a good bike. But after one ride in the canyons, I hated my bike. And after a ride going to Torrance for six hours, I hated my bike. I ride a lot far distances on my motorcycle. How far do I ride? Let me just say on my 97 ZX6R, I rode to Fresno and then I rode to Nevada for work. And then I wanted to tack on another state. So I went to Arizona. I do tend to go to Torrance a lot, and because of traffic, give or take, it's around six hours round trip. And so that's a lot of time on the motorcycle, and I definitely want to be comfortable when I ride, right? When I rode my 636 with a shaved seat, it was the most excruciating, most painful ride I've ever had. My body was absorbing all of the shock from the road, the potholes, that I could feel the force come underneath my ribs and it was so painful I wanted to puke. Keep in mind I had to do this for six hours. We decided to slap on a gardening pad on it. A gardening pad that you can just find at Home Depot, Lowe's and it's a regular foam pad that you could just put on the ground and kneel on when you're gardening. So we put that on the seat and then wrapped it again with the vinyl and stapled it. It still didn't work on my next trip back to Torrance and it was again the most excruciating painful ride that I've ever endured. And then I went on a canyon ride with my buddies and let me just say, riding a lowered bike to as low as it can go is like riding a brick and is the most poorest handling I have ever experienced. My first bike, the 97, was not lowered. and this was my first experience of a lowered bike and I hated it so much. I started to get upset and pretty bummed out because I was thinking now I would never be able to have the opportunity to ride newer bikes. In my head I just thought I have to have a 97ZX6R forever. My husband started to research on it because I was ready to just sell the bike. I was done with the bike after riding with my friends. It was the worst ride I ever had. And my husband ended up finding a company called Corbin and they make customizable seats. So the difference between my Corbin seat and a stock seat is, well, like night and day, first of all, I have to say. But there's a bunch of things that the Corbin seat offers that a stock seat can't. The Corbin seat has shaved off two inches for my seat height and the Corbin seat has their patent comfort cell foam. And what the comfort cell foam is, is that it breaks down to conform to their um, custom design seat for your motorcycle, and it conforms to, well, your butt, basically. <laughs> so that it equally displaces the weight and you have a more comfortable ride. The best comparison I could think of of a Corbin seat is, think of it like your mattress at home. And when you have a mattress that is just right and allows your weight to be displaced equally so that your spine is aligned, you can have a great night's rest. 
But when you have a lumpy, saggy mattress, you're not going to have a good time. So with a stock seat, over time it breaks down and gets lumpy and doesn't displace your weight properly. So when you have that long ride, it's not as comfortable as you'd like it to be. Another thing with the Corbin seat is that it prevents fatigue. So on the Corbin seat, the saddle has a slope toward the front. Think of it as a horse saddle. Um, if you've ever ridden a horse, or been in a fair and ridden their horse, because that's the top horse that I've ridden. The saddle has a high point, and that prevents fatigue of you sliding around in your seat from the stop and go of riding. Currently, the Corbin website has changed from two years ago. Two years ago, when my husband ordered my seat, you find your make, model, and the year of your bike, and then they provide you the seat. And then you choose the exterior fabric that you want on your seat. And then on the form, they also ask for your height, weight, and inseam. Currently, they don't ask for that. You just get to design the exterior receipt by choosing the materials that you want on the seat. So on my seat, what I have is the, is the leather Kevlar stitch pattern, and then on the sides, I have vinyl. They recommend that you have leather on top and vinyl on the side. Leather on top is because it's breathable and that over time, leather breaks down, and because it breaks down, it will conform to their design seat and your bot and then the sides is vinyl which they recommend because it's durable and not breathable and that way is that over time that the sides of the seat can remain taut and not have that saggy seat <laughs> i guess that's what i'm trying to say you won't have a saggy seat it'll be just right currently right now on the Corbin website they don't offer that on the form to choose your height weight and inseam however you can put it in the comments below they do recommend that you go ahead and order their seat based on the make model and year of your bike because they claim to design and customize the seat based on the geometry of the motorcycle and they recommend that you try it out first however if you are not satisfied you can return it and ask them to do certain adjustments at no cost to you at all. If you want to avoid all of that and you really, really want to make sure that your seat just goes right, you can go ahead and put in the comments and explain your situation like we did, and you put your height, weight, and inseam in there. And also you can explain that maybe you want the front of your seat to be as narrow as possible, because that's what we did for my bike. Feel free to write them any questions or concerns that you have. That's what we did. We asked them a bunch of questions and we expressed our concerns, but they were able to answer my husband and it was a smooth process. I will say though, ordering the seat, it did take quite a long time for it to come in. I forget how long it took in. I want to say a month that it took for it to finally come in, but keep in mind, it's a customized seat to you. And also, we kind of went like way above and beyond of how much we wanted our seat customized. They delivered though, so the seat is exactly what I wanted and I still have my 636 and that's all that matters. Also, I want to say to Corbin who probably doesn't even know I exist or even know this video is going to come out at all, but I just want to say thanks for making a great seat and thank you also for working with me and my husband because I know we asked quite a bit for customization on our seat and I just want to thank you so much for making the process as smooth as possible. And the seat's great. It's been two years and I love my seat and currently my husband is considering ordering a seat for himself. Okay, so that's all I want to say about the Corbin seat. I definitely recommend it for short people before you even consider lowering your bike, which I highly recommend you don't. It just ruins the geometry and handling of your motorcycle. And then I also recommend it for any rider, every rider for that long ride. It just makes the ride comfortable. Um, yeah, so give it a shot, check out their website. If you wanna give that company a look, I'll put a link below if you do order from them. Maybe tell them I sent you, cause that would be really cool. Um, I don't even think they know I exist, to be honest. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and thank you so much for being here and watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!